Okay, so I've uh, treated the end with the Odie's Oil uh, safe solvent, Odie's Oil corn wall, and uh, pine tar as the uh, preservative. Uh, hopefully it'll last. Now we've got a fairly decent growth in here. Should, knots are actually pretty good. They contain a bunch of resin, which they're actually good. So we're going to try to stand this up under that beam. Sorry for the up close, but uh, I'm up in the cage here. So here you can see how this whole telescopic thing works. And the people that said the tendon was too small, it's really just an index. Our shoulders shove that up. So this drops down. You can see we're just, we're just snagging on a bolt right right there. It needs just a tiny bit, but it'll clear, it'll go under. We have to pack this out. We're going to tip it back into place, but it actually went not bad for a couple old men hauling it out here with manpower. Gravity is your friend. Gravity is your friend. Okay, so we're just leveling off uh, this uh, spline and I'm using old growth Western Red Cedar, vertical grain, heartwood only. It's much better. Andrew's just gonna tip it now into place. So we're gonna show you. This bolster block is made to tip underneath and then the wedges will drive it up into place. So here we go. Oh, oh, got a few things we gotta clear. There we go. Okay. So now, now this moves up with our wedges. That's how it works. Okay, so here's what we got going. You can see that wedge. It's gonna drive it up. We're fairly close. We gotta just take that up. We have to transfer now the load onto this beam and then remove these. And then we're gonna put uh, six by sixes against there and we're gonna jack with 20 ton jacks right here and push this thing up and then drive in our wedges even further to transfer the load. We will then um, take out the- It can be a little difficult to see what's going on without, you know, uh, sort of uh, not being up close. So I'll draw back so you can sort of see. Okay, so here's a better look at what we're doing. You know, we've treated, uh, we've treated the ends with the pine tar, Odie's oil mixture. Fantastic stuff. Really happy with that. We've got nice rough sawn material. Andrew's just putting some key blocks in. You can see those holes in the top. We're going to use uh, JR case screws and cover those with uh, oak dowels but we're spanning across that nice uh, scarf with plumb. We're, uh, our timber's out of the water. And uh, if we can get those wedges pounded in, we'll transfer the load onto that and remove these. Thanks for watching. It's uh, coming together as planned and hey, doesn't look that bad either. So we're gonna transfer the load. Looks like we didn't cut it too short. That's good, Andrew. Is it moving that? Step back for a second so we can see that post. That's pretty decent in there, Andrew. Well, that's quite a post. Yeah, we still gotta come up another, another inch, so we're gonna jack on the bolster block down the side with two four by fours, 20 ton 
a hydraulic jack on the other side, then we're going to lift it, and then we'll drive these in. Okay, so here we go. Staging is out of the way. We're now going to start to jack under the bolster block. And you notice that, uh, well, we I put the off cuts that we cut off on the ends. Put a strap back on so we can jack up against those without marring it. We're going to put a 20-ton jack on either side of this.